Here is a list of things that you may not know about Payday 2. You can right click while performing an interaction to cancel it. The Alesso heist is the only heist that has a custom soundtrack that can't be chosen for any other heist. There are 19 different weapons that the enemies can use. The game decides if you will get a safe from a drop before you even pick a card. If you do get chosen for a safe drop, any card that you pick will contain that safe. Safe drops are not randomised, you get them after a certain time period of a week or something. The first drop that you get when a new safe, weapon pack, heist pack or character pack comes out will often be something from that pack as long as you own its DLC. Cloakers have silenced guns. In stealth, if the cops can't see your head, then you won't be detected. Captain Winters is invincible. His squad is not. When Captain Winters leaves, his squad will always stay. Cloakers cannot run at you in solo mode. If you are using a doctor bag when Swan Song activates, you will still be able to reset your downs before you go down. Standing still and crouching increases your accuracy massively. Turrets can be hacked with ECM jammers. With a lot of skills active at once, the Thanatos 50 Cal can do more damage than the HRL-7 rocket launcher in a single shot. If you have a hostage, bots can trade you for it when you're in custody. Safe house raid is completed quicker if you kill more, waiting takes a very long time. The minigun is the only gun which can be modded to have zero stability. If your shot breaks your armour, it will negate the rest of the damage. The easiest heist to trigger an escape on is four stores by killing all the civilians. Crime Spree ends up being a harder difficulty than one down at about 1000. If you have ever seen someone with a mega something mask, and you are wondering how to get it, it's from a past DLC called the Completely Overkill Pack, and it has been updated since it came out to add more mega masks. The DLC itself was taken off sale. You can get a pencil melee weapon from the Search for Kento website. Both Big Bank's Ode to Greed and Scarface Mansion's Break the Rules have a vocal version of the song which will play randomly, as well as just the instrumental version. The person who gives instructions during Jewelry Store, Nightclub and Escapes is never actually referenced or mentioned. Civilians having conversations in stealth mode are actually quite interesting to listen to. The Jackal, or Ump 45, Rift Punk Magnifier Gadget and Speedpool Mag were all in the game before they are officially released. The H3H3 pack is the last paid DLC pack ever. After June 8th, 2017, all DLC is compacted into one major DLC called the Ultimate Edition. Before June 8th, 2017, all DLC has to be bought separately. Labrats is one of the least played heists. Yeah, so that was my big list of uh, random things you might not know about Payday 2. If you know any more that I haven't mentioned, that people may not know about, put them in the comments and I'll use them in the next video if I do make another one of this. Depends how it turns out. Yeah, well, uh, have a good day.